Alice Angel is the twisted and sadistic queen of the studio, and a main antagonist throughout the Bendy series. Before becoming an ink creature, Alice Angel was a voice actress named Susie Campbell. Susie worked at Joy Drew Studios, voicing all sorts of characters, but eventually she was cast as Alice Angel. Susie was very attached to Alice and overjoyed to be her voice actress. Joey Drew further added to Susie's joy when he called her Alice at lunch, which Susie liked. Susie recorded her voice lines in the music department and worked closely with the music department's director, Sammy Lawrence. It's implied that during this time, Susie had a romantic relationship with Sammy Lawrence. I had a talk to Sammy the other day. If I'd know better, I'd say there was magic there. However, Joey Drew recast Alice without telling Susie and replaced her with Allison Pendle. This threw Susie into a state of despair. She seems very delusional during this time, clearly not in the right state of mind, and Joey uses this to his advantage. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow? Says he has an opportunity for me? Joey convinced Susie to become a test subject in the Ink Machine's experiments to become a real version of Alice Angel. However, Susie being reborn through the Ink Machine didn't go as intended. Sometime around this, Alice was moved from the real world to the cartoon cycle created by the Ink Machine. It also seems like the Ink Demon attacked Alice Angel, resulting in her becoming deformed. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> to become beautiful again, Alice started mutilating characters in the cycle and stealing parts from them to fix herself. Boruses can be found gutted across the cycle. They're what remains of these poor souls after Alice took what she wanted from them. In Boris in the Dark Survival, which is currently being rebranded as Bendy, Lone Wolf, Alice Angel leaves audio logs for Boris inside these gutted bodies. In these audio logs, Alice pretends to be a woman named Mila who is trapped inside the cycle. Boris eventually manages to unlock the door leading to where she's supposedly trapped, but instead he finds Alice Angel. Boris escapes Alice and she continues to pursue him across the studio. In Bending the Ink Machine Chapter 1, when Henry's exploring the cycle, he finds a gutted Boris and wrongfully assumes that Joey did this. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Using the seeing tool reveals a message that confirms this was Alice's doing. In Chapter 3, when Henry and Boris are exploring Heavenly Toys, they encounter Alice Angel. Alice tells Henry to meet her on level 9, where he finds a room full of corpses that Alice has taken parts from. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. Alice instructs Henry to collect supplies for her, and in return she'll let him leave the studio. Alice talks to Henry during these objectives, and is very impatient and cruel. Later in the chapter, Alice commands Henry to break the bendy cutouts across the studio, showing how Alice and the Ink Demon are rivals. When Henry is sent down to level 14, Alice sends him a Tommy gun, saying it once belonged to someone very special. We never learn who this belonged to, but it's likely it was Sammy's, since he was close with Susie. When Henry enters the elevator to leave the studio, Alice backstabs him and drops the elevator, saying she needs Boris to be beautiful again. Now come down! The elevator crashes and the chapter ends with Alice dragging Boris away. In chapter 4, Henry sets out to save Boris from Alice Angel. Early in the chapter when Henry's climbing up the staircase, Alice briefly talks to him. Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. Later while playing carnival games, Alice taunts Henry again. Tell me, are you having fun? I'm sure Boris doesn't mind waiting for his rescue party. Eventually, Henry powers up the haunted house. He goes inside to find Boris, and Alice monologues to him. We never really had control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. At the end of the ride, Henry is reunited with Boris. <gasps> Boris! No, oh, no, what has she done to you? In a scene that broke many fans' hearts, Alice has gutted Boris and transformed him into a monster. It's an incredibly cruel fate for such a friendly character, and shows how twisted Alice is. Henry manages to defeat Brute Boris, and Alice Angel runs out to kill Henry, but she's abruptly stabbed by Alice and Angel and dies. Chapter 4's original credits ended with an image showing the lost one surrounding Alice's corpse. After Bendy and the Ink Machine, Joey Drew dies in the real-world ink machine that created the cartoon cycles collected by Archgate Pictures, the company that now owns the Bendy brand. 
Wilson begins investigating the ink machine and tampers with the cycle during another one of its loops. Wilson severely disrupts the cycle. As seen in Dark Revival, Alice Angel and Boris the Wolf are still alive due to Wilson changing the cycle's events. Alice Angel is captured by Wilson's creations known as the Keepers, and locked away in the Cycle Breaker's prison. It's never clearly stated what a Cycle Breaker is, but judging from the main cast of Bendy and the Ink Machine all being in the prison, it's likely a Cycle Breaker is just someone who plays an important role in the Cycle's story. Alice was likely imprisoned due to her major role as an antagonist in Bendy and the Ink Machine, so capturing her would disrupt the Cycle's events. When Audrey goes to the Cycle Breaker's prison in Chapter 4 of Bendy and the Dark Revival, we see Alice's cell is empty, implying she's escaped. In Chapter 5, when Audrey is in Wilson's retreat, Alice poisons her drink and knocks her out. When Audrey wakes up, she's in the north wing of Wilson's retreat, which Alice has taken over. Alice wants to harvest Audrey to make herself perfect. What I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts, ready for my delicious harvest. But Alice puts that off and instead plays a riddle with Audrey. If Audrey gets the riddle right, she gets to go, but if she gets it wrong, she's electrocuted. Alice Angel seems to be a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, since the riddle's answer is a reference to the original characters. Once Audrey completes the riddle, Alice doesn't let her go so easy. Alice Angel tries to shoot Audrey as she attempts to open the doorway leading to Alice. Audrey reaches Alice, but she's caught before she can banish her. She nearly kills Audrey, but is once again stabbed by Alice and Angel. Uh, my face. Uh, you have my face. It's our face. Uh, beautiful. Always were. This is the last time we see Alice in the games, but we may see her in Bendy the Cage. Alice Angel's a great antagonist and a widely loved character. It's crazy to think that what started out as a small poster in Chapter 2 has been expanded into such an interesting character. Seeing Alice's story play out over the years has been an amazing experience, and I'm hoping there's even more in the future. If you're a fan of the Bendy series, I have plenty more Bendy videos on my channel. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I have some Five Nights at Freddy's and Poppy Playtime videos in the works as well. If you want to support us and fund future content, consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks again for watching, and check out some of my other videos.